Do you have failed trades? I'll tell you why, so it doesn't happen again. Trades fail because of slippage. So everything relates to better slippage management. Let's dive into this thread. So what is slippage? Let's say you want to swap your soul for 164 USDC. You set your slippage tolerance to 0.5%, review the transaction, and slide to execute. At that moment, the price of soul jumps to $166, and then of course your order fails because the price difference exceeds your 0.5% tolerance. Now right now in August everything's still about meme coins and meme coins have more volatility and of course the price can move so quickly. So when you want to get a hype token like a meme coin or maybe dupe or something else is going crazy then you need to adjust your slippage settings. I'm going to show you how to do it in your phone. So in my tutorial wallet I'll jump into the middle and go to swap and here I've got what do I have in here. I've got a little bit of soul and I've got lots of different meme coins. Let's say I wanted to sell some cat dog for USDC. I can type in how much I want to sell and then down below we can see slippage tolerance. So if we selected 0.5% and we try to swap it, slide to swap, we'll see if this transaction goes through. This failed. The slippage was not high enough. So let's try 1% swap and this transaction went through. If we do get more failed transactions, then we can just go and we can adjust this slippage to whatever we think is necessary, like 5% if needed. Very rarely though, 10% or 20% if it's a new meme coin and if you're trying to ape into it. And if you wanted an exact measurement, something like custom, you could just change this to say 8%. However, please keep in mind, if you adjust your slippage too high, then someone can come before you, buy the token and sell it to you and make the difference. We'll swap here and we'll swap this at 8%. You can do the same thing in the extension. Just come here into the middle. And what do we have in here? We've got a lot of USDC. Maybe I want to buy some JLP again. Come up to the settings. It's currently set to 1%. That should be fine for JLP. But if needed, we could always up it, save it, type in what we want, and then go ahead, swap and confirm. And just like that, the swap went through. So monitor your slippage so your trades go through. Happy trading.